Okay, hi, my name is Brent Cole, and this is the instructional video on how to create an autonomous mission on the QGround Control application. Uh, the date is June 20th, 2021. So uh, this video is for the latest version of QGround Control at this date. So uh, we open QGround Control and we have a map. So let's go ahead and look at the top left here on this fly tab, we have the plan button. When you click the plan button, um, you get all these options all over the screen. We'll go over them. Uh, the main reason for this video is our initial reaction was to create a blank plan. But when you do that, for some reason, it doesn't let you add waypoints. Uh, tried multiple things, and it, it just doesn't really want to cooperate. It might be a bug. or, um, But either way, you want to click File, and you want to start with Survey. Uh, that will actually give you a takeoff point. So now that we have our takeoff point, if you look on the right here, it's going to ask you a question, which is just, you know, make sure it's not in a bad spot, no obstacles, don't put it on a tree or something. Obviously, you can't take off there. Um, that is for a drone. A, a, a rover might be able to, but anyway, we're just going to put it there and click done. Now, we have our altitude set at zero feet because we have a rover, and it's not going to go in the air, or at least it shouldn't. So... We want to set that at zero feet. If you're using a drone, you might want to set it to something else. But uh, the next thing about this mode is you have this survey box. When you click on here, uh, it wants you to make a survey tool. We're not really interested in doing a survey, and it won't let you upload the mission if you just ignore it. So we're just going to click this trash can here, and that will delete that. So now we have an uploadable mission, but you know it's not going to go anywhere, so we need to make some waypoints. So if we click our takeoff, uh, it will allow you to add a waypoint. So I click that, I can now click around, and let's just make a figure eight. So if I do that, uh, maybe here, move it around, there we go. So we have a figure eight, but we want it to be a little more accurate, so a little bigger. You can click in between these to add another waypoint, stretch it out. There we go. Now it's looking a little more like an eight. And it doesn't matter where you click, so there's no order or anything. It, it knows, you know, steps one and two. And then there I accidentally created a node because I forgot to uh, click this here. So you can just delete that waypoint, click here, and then now we're not adding waypoints anymore. So we can move around and stuff. Uh, so this is good. We have a full mission path. Uh, this is the arrow showing the direction. So it's going to go this way. and this is the takeoff, so it should run along the lines just like that. And now the mission path is looking good. This is done. But we still have to take care of one more thing at the top right here. Click Mission Start. And you want to set some settings. So uh, again, obviously we're on a rover, so our initial waypoint is at uh, zero, zero feet. We don't want it to be in the air. Uh, flight speed, we have it set to five miles per hour. Because again, this is a rover, we don't want to go on too fast. A drone might be able to go pretty fast, but rovers, yeah, don't want it to tip over. Uh, you can also set camera settings and whatnot. Uh, we're not interested in that right now, we don't have a camera on it. Um, <clears throat> vehicle information, as you can see it says vehicle rover, that is the airframe that I last loaded. And firmware, x 4 Pro, so it should be reading these properly. And again, cruise speed, 5 miles per hour, don't want it too fast. So all those settings look good. Uh, I didn't need to change anything because it was set from before. But uh, once that is done, uh, your mission is ready to be uploaded. So uh, if the vehicle is connected, an upload button may pop up here. But in my case, it's not showing up because there's no vehicle. But I can actually click Upload here uh, as well. Or I can download a mission that's already on the vehicle or clear a mission that is on the vehicle right now. If you're uploading a new mission, you might want to clear it before you upload another one. Uh, but as of right now, we would actually like to save this mission so we can use it in the future. So I click Save As, and I already had a figure eight plan, so let's just make another one. Uh, figure eight underscore, let's just name it Plan 2. Hit Enter. And then, so just to make sure it's there, let's click Blank. Are you sure you want to wipe your plan? Yes. <clears throat> so if we have this plan already, we can click File and Open. 
with a great plan too. And then there it is. It will show up in the exact spot that you did it last. All the settings will be set to the way it should be. And at that point, your mission is ready to upload. So once you upload it to the rover slash drone and click fly, you will be given a uh, setting at the bottom here to start the mission or put it in fly mode. Again, I'm not connected to the rover right now, so the options are not here. But at this point, the, the mission is on the board, the FMUK66 module, and you can run it from the controller or from here. So yeah, that is how you create an autonomous flight mission in Q-Ground Control.